Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can fix PS5 error code CE100056. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in this website where I found a guide that explains perfectly how you can fix the CE100056 PS5 error. So right now we're going to see five solutions. So the first solution is to restart the PlayStation 5 console. An easy way to fix the PlayStation 5 CE100056 error is to restart the PlayStation 5 console. It is often used to troubleshoot some common problems on the device. You can press and hold power button to shut down the console completely. Then wait until the power light stops blinking. Then unplug the power cord. After about 20 minutes, replug the power cord and turn on the PlayStation 5. After resourcing the console, check if error code is gone. If it still persists, you should move to the next fix. The second way is gonna be rebooting your PlayStation 5 in safe mode. Resourcing the PlayStation 5 in safe mode has fixed a lot of users' error, and while using the solution, you will not lose your personal data. Just follow these steps. Step 1. Hold the power button for about 3 seconds to power off the PlayStation 5 console. The indicator will blink during the process. Step 2. After the console is completely off, press the power button again and hold it. Step 3. When you hear the second beep that will appear after about 7 seconds, you can release the power button. Step 4. Connect your controller to the console and then press the PS button, then you can boot in safe mode and see 7 options. Way 3. Check PSN servers and internet. Your console might be working fine and the PlayStation 5 is server is down. In this case, you can check the current status of its servers by going to PlayStation server status page. If PSN is currently down, then you need to wait for their team to resolve the issue. However, if there is no issue with PlayStation Network server, you can see if problem is really your internet connection and make sure you have at least a 5 megabyte per second download and upload speed to avoid server outages. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.